Hello, my name is Arti and we are going to solve practice problem 6.13 from Sadiku book. And here we have an integrator circuit. And we have an op amp here. And remember from the previous chapter, we have the characteristic of op amp. So if we have op amp, the voltage in the input port VA and VB will be equal to each other. And then the current that goes in into op amp is equal to zero. And the third characteristic is KCL does not apply to op amp. So this is not a KCL node. So IA plus IB is not equal to IC. Okay, now let's start solving the problem. So let's read the problem. The integrator in the figure has R, this R is 100 kilo ohm. So let's just plug our number, 100 kilo ohm. There. And then C, the capacitor value is 20 microfarad. So let's just plug the value here. So we will have 20 microfarad. So we are asked to determine, determine the output voltage when a DC voltage applied of 2.5 millivolt applied at T is equal to zero. So we have VI here. VI, VI with respect to time because we have a DC we have a constant 2.5 so millivolt so this is translated into this one and we start at T is equal to zero so we does not care about T before zero and then we have this sentence here. Assume that the op amp is initially no. Okay. So this means that the voltage of op amp and at t is equal to zero is zero. So this sentence means that v output of zero is equal to zero. The unit maybe because this is millivolt, I will just follow them does not matter because it is zero so this is the input voltage and this is the initial condition of the output we will need to use those two later okay so now let's start so we have this circuit here and if we have op m usually we use nodal analysis so let's name this node as node a and we have the current that goes in into the op amp and this is also that one and we name this node here and the ground is node p okay so let's start to what we have from here okay remember from the op amp characteristic if we have two nodes here in the input v a and v b the voltage will be equal to each other and remember that b is connected to the ground so the voltage here will be zero and that means va is equal to zero okay because b is connected to the ground and a is the other part of the op amp and now let's do kcl at node a so KCL at not A. KCL at not A. Remember that KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, now let's see what current that goes in and what current that goes out. The current that goes in is this one, IR. And then what else? No, no other currents that goes in. Remember that this one is not the current that goes in because it's different nodes and we cannot apply KCL. Op M is not a node. And then plus. No, not plus because there is no other current that goes in. And then 
the current that goes out is this IA the current that going into the op amp and the other is IC which is the current that pass through this capacitor okay now we can plug the formula from here this is resistor so we can use ohm's law IR is equal to VI minus VA divided by the resistance which is 100 kilo ohm 100 kilo ohm and then that will equal to IA and remember that the current that going into the op amp is equal to zero so I will have zero IA is zero and then plus IC remember that IC is equal to C dV over dt so I will have C which is 20 microfarad 20 micro and then we need to multiply this by d over dt and the voltage is between this one v0 and va v0 oh i mean the current is going there so we will have va minus v output okay now what can we do here because our whiteboard is full let's clean this up okay so far we have this equation so i rewrite this as this because the zero does not matter in addition so uh, i will remove the zero from there and then va is equal to zero why because it is another part of the op amp while the another part is connected to the ground so this is zero so va is zero so i will have v1 minus zero and i better write k 100k as 10 to the 3 and then 20 micro and micro is 10 to the minus 6 and here we will have the dt remember va is zero minus v output so zero minus v o is minus v o so i will just write this, this one okay now what can we do here we can switch the minus sign of outside of this so i will write this v zero here and i will write minus sign there and we have this one and we have this one and so we will have vi is equal to we multiply this into the right hand side We'll have 20 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 10 to the 3 and we will have d v0 over dt so we'll have vi is equal to this will be minus 2 multiplied by 10 to the minus 5 multiplied by 10 to the 5 and that one will be dv o minus dt and this is minus 5 and 5 the power is minus 5 and 5 so this will cancel each other so let's start fresh again so we will have here v1 is equal to minus 2 d v0 over dt okay let's clean the board and start from here 
Okay, now we have minus 2 dv0 over dt is equal to vi. But we are asked to find this vo. So we move this dt to the left hand side. So we'll have v1 dt. And that will equal to minus 2 dv0. Okay. Now I can move this constant to the left hand side and I can rewrite all of this into dv0 is equal to minus 1 half integral of vi, not integral, this is still here, vi dt. So now we can integrate both sides. We can integrate both sides. So integral of dVO is equal to minus one half because it's constant. We can just put the integral sign here. V i dt. Okay, and this becomes V zero is equal to minus one half integral of V i dt. Okay, now we need to take the function of vi. vi is 2.5. So we'll have vo is minus 1 half integral of 2.5 dt. So we will have v0 is equal to minus 1.25 t plus some integration constant but we still need to find this integration constant and how to do that we need to use the initial value conditions this is the initial value conditions v0 of 0 is equal to 0 fold so let's do that v0 of 0 is equal to 0 so if we plug this 0 into this function, we will have minus 1.25 multiplied by 0 plus the integration constant and that will equal to 0. And this will be minus 0 plus C1 is equal to 0 and this one will be C1 is equal to 0. So finally, we have our final v0 because c1 is 0. We can just plug this one. So we'll have v0 with respect to time is minus 1.25t. And the unit is millivolt. Okay, so this is the final answer of practice problem. 6.13 so hopefully this help you to understand and solve this problem uh, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video bye bye